ceiling's very high with what he could achieve. And they've also gone on record saying we're not expecting him to be consistent because we know he can play match-winning innings. I'm not sure I've heard that from a, a captain or a coach about a batsman before. Yeah, I, I think what what they've gone about supporting is and, and, and picking is talent number one. You mm. identify talent and then you have an environment where they can be themselves and blossom and, and then the coaching unit and the management know how to manage the person but also get them better skill-wise. So I think you heard Liam Livingston say uh, Test cricket is cool. Uh, ben Stokes and, and Baz McCullum have taken it down a path where it's cool. Uh, ben Duckett said this is the best time uh, ever to come back and play test cricket. So these are the, the same players a few years ago. Some would have said they're not red ball players. They don't have the skill. They don't, they don't know how to you know, do the hard yards, graft it out, whatever. What, what they've done here is created an atmosphere where skill is number one. And any skill that is high enough to play any format, if it fits in with the ethos of the team of playing attractive attack in test cricket, they're going to pick from. So players are excited. Now, Ben Dhaka, he started in Dhaka, um, in, in, in Bangladesh, had a really tough time. Tough pitches. Everywhere, tough pitches, and you could say, oh, his leg was down, his, his foot was down, leg side when he played a forward defence, left his stump, whatever. Now, these are the same players who come back, and now the same ball that he was really jittery with, he's either sweeping or reverse sweeping, trying to score runs off, which that mindset itself just changes a player and the application of that skill. So I think it's, it's, it's great the atmosphere they've created and to leave all these doors open for players who once were thought beyond test cricket or not good enough for test cricket technically. It's just about effectiveness and being able to do what the team needs you to do. So consistency will come as long as you let them have the space and the time to develop that consistency. But you see in Zach Crawley that talent that they backed and it's good to see him come good. When you looked at the test side last summer and indeed the, the bits of cricket that we've seen in this series and you hear players say, I really want to be involved with this, I really want to go on this journey, I don't really like that term but you know what I mean, with McCullum and Stokes and the environment they've created. The same players that were struggling in the pre, and this is not to criticise what went before because of Covid bubbles etc, but the same players who were failing in test match cricket have succeeded. It's quite an astonishing turnaround isn't it what, what have you made of the flip yeah it's been a great turnaround it's been um, I think like you say someone coming in from the outside with a um, you know, Brendan McCullum having an outside view of, of English cricket and I think we've seen him talk about you know saying I didn't realize how good the players mm. are in England and they just need unlocking and um, you know certainly I think people are seeing test cricket through a bit of a different lens and and I think obviously McCullum brings great clarity he's also got a reputation you know he's done it himself mm. um, people can easily believe the message he is is giving uh, and the other message is coming from Ben who's such a talismanic leader and can play in so many different ways um, and I think one big thing they've had results straight away and I, I know they talk about the results aren't important they are. um, but they certainly sell your image and your story that you're trying to get across to the players straight away. It happened for um, Owen Morgan and the white ball team in, in 2015, the first series we played ultra attacking cricket uh, and won games. So suddenly you're going, OK, I can really enjoy this and get the most out of my talent and they give me so much freedom and we're still winning. So mm. getting the best of, of both worlds. And I think that is a big part of it and, and that allows you the a bit longer rope to carry people with you who are not quite performing at their best, but we can carry them, we're winning, we know they'll come good, Zach's showing that, he, and that's a great place to get to as a side, and, and you have full control, and, and you can just you know control that narrative and take that team forward however you want. 